Hi everyone, this is Stacy. I'm back to share a journal that I've completed. I've used a kit by Calico Collage called Spring Peacock. And I've also used not just the kit, but she also has a um, called Spring Peacock Digital Sheets. So I've used some of those in as well. So I used Craft Text as the cover. Um, there's the front. I happen to have this sari silk in my stash that went with it so pretty. It's actually gorgeous. It's got like a black undertone to it with the um, like this really bright fuchsia and it went really well with this kit. So I've done some stickling on the cover. Um, one of the things I like about this kit is that it has such bright colors but that it pairs really nice with the black. So I kind of worked with um, a lot of the black um, bits in it so that it would stand out really really extra bright. So inside I've left the inside cover on both the back and the front all plain. This is uh, Prima paper that I had in my stash and the colors were perfect for this kit as well. Um, so here's the front and I've added this little charm, little butterfly charm to this black sari silk. I love that I can add black to this because this just makes it, you know, so my style and to have the black added to it. And the creams, it's just a gorgeous kit. Um, I've done collaging with some of the elements um, in the kit because I, I really love collaging. I find it very therapeutic. I've added vintage book pages and vintage music sheets and I've used the phrases in the kit as well. I've cut them and use them in here. Now all these pages in these are dilution stained pages. I've done them with my Dilutions ink. You can see the transfer there. I do I do carry this in my shop as well as coffee dyed paper. But these just paired really well. I, I wanted to do something um, outside of coffee staining in this. There's a library pocket and I've used some fabric tabs. Look at that transfer there. The green. The green is like one of my favorites. Green and pink. I love those. They're pretty. I've done uh, like just some light stamping with some script. It kind of goes with some of the pages of the background of the kit. Um, I've used the Prima paper to make pockets. This is uh, a piece of the digital paper that she has as an, like kind of an add-on or extra. There's an extra kit for that and I've done a little bit of collaging there. I've added lots of, I kind of call this more of a diary because I've added a lot of uh, lined pages to coincide with this. I, I think that they still work really well even though these images are bright but vintage. The, the white pages go really well with the pink and the green dilution stained. I mean look at how pretty that looks. It goes such accents so nice. So here's a bag. I've done a little bit of uh, washi tape here. This is an image from the kit. Oops, sorry. A little journaling card. I've used um, one of these uh, guest checks. This one, the ones I have are French English, of course, here in Canada. So I've stamped. I had a stamp here. I can't remember where that one is from. Um, another little collage here with some washi and some of this vintage. Uh, music note paper. Okay, so here I have a layaway tag and I've added this, I've punched this out from one of the, some of the scraps because as much as I have, I've ripped up a lot of the scraps in the thing because I've used them in different ways in this kit. And then I've stamped, that's a Tim Holtz stamp. I've just added that in there. It's kind of neat because you can actually uh, maybe use it as a, I do that a lot with my journals. I have these kind of poking out the top. That's kind of cute. Use them as bookmarks or something. Um, and then uh, also I have, this is another piece of scrap from the, uh, the digital paper that is also by the same name, the Spring Peacock. And that flips up, I think I said that. Now there's some of that paper and I've, you know, ripped it. I just, this is how I love to start out writing because I'll write right over that and, you know, add little bits. Collaging is so therapeutic for me. There's a bag. I'll have to share one of my collage books. Now this is a vintage 
stick. It's a sticker. You can tell it's quite aged. I just stuck it in there. You, somebody could use it wherever they like. This is I fussy cutted that out and uh, just stuck it there. It's not a tuck. It's just this is the only pocket there. Didn't want to bulk this up too much. There's another some of the words in there phrases. And here is one of the elements from the kit. Let's attach that. Some tracing paper. Just gorgeous. This the dilutions paper matches it perfect. I just happened to have a big stack of it done and when I saw this it just matched so well. Yeah. It's another pocket with one of the images from the kit. And I've done another little collage here. This is some bits from the kit as well. Look at this page here. That is just it's gorgeous. It's got a lots of uh, good transfer of different greens and stuff. So this center signature is completely lined and lots of dilutions papers. So there's just, it's almost like a little diary section here. Now in the center here, because it lays nice and flat, you could, you know, write on it. I've made this, uh, this from one of the digital paper as well. And I added, this is a little bookmark. This is a time card. It's got French and English on it. Added some beautiful sari silk from my stash. Okay, so I mean look at how perfect that goes. Just want to show you how it just happened to match the kit so well. It's just gorgeous. I did another little collage. Now these were all banners. I've ripped them and made them look like washi tape. It's one of my favorite things to do. I'm not a huge fan of the banners. I try to use them a little bit in the journals just to show them off, but I really prefer to use them as accent pieces and make them look like washi. I have a bit of a washi addiction. Actually a huge washi addiction. So, And here again I've done it. Uh, that was a banner and I've just made it look like washi tape. That's another gorgeous piece. I do have a whole green journal made. One of these days I'll show it off. This is a Graphic 45 stamp. Some butterfly. This was from the kit. I made it into a pocket. It's another little collage. These are little Tim Holtz things. And then I've also added, this one's from the kit. This is another Graphics 45 stamp. And that I stamped on another guest check. And then more fabric tab there. Um, I always add these in my journals when I make them. The uh, vintage grid paper, I can see it. It's very old, but it's I had I have a huge stash of really good quality. It's really paired nice with this kit as well. There's another little envelope and card from the kit. I just love the black. It's so gorgeous. I was first inspired to use this kit when I saw Liz. Hi Liz from the Liz from the Paper Project. I've always admired when she did that a while back, so I was happy to finally have this kit. And this is a tuck. This is where I use the banner as a banner. And then here's another one from the kit. This is some of that extra paper. Note paper. another few images from the kit, the ephemera. Oops, I'm not going to stay in there right now. There we go. Just accents really nice. There is, I used it as washi tape there again. More collaging. I could have collaged this book to death but I didn't want it. I'll have to make one for myself. So this was some of that paper, and I've just done this. You can go underneath it. I was almost wanting to rip this up and do it, do some more, but I thought, well, I'll leave that to the person that wants to use this journal. It's another piece of that. The other side of that vintage grid paper. Another 
pocket with some of the ephemera. I uh, used the Dilusions paper to create another pocket there. This is really old ledger. I had a little scrap. I thought it looked good in there. have a little note card. And there's one of the banners, and I've used that as a little tuck spot. There's that. Like I said, I do carry this uh, paper in my shop. Usually, I... Not sure if there's any green left, but I know that there's lots of pink. It's neat. I don't just spray the page, by the way. I, I do wet it and I marbleize it and I do different things with it. I manipulate it. I really do babysit the paper to, so that you get, you know, not that effect that it's sprayed on. It's that it's, you know, kind of really works within the paper and gives a nice transfer. Now with the digital paper I made um, an envelope with my We Are Memories Keeper punch board and then I added an extra few sheets of this that I printed up. Just cut them in half, make a little note card or a little letter. And then there's the back. I didn't want to add any extra pockets here because I wanted you to be able to write on it. It is quite chunky. I mean, some of the things can come out for sure, but butterfly. Again, there's the back. All right. I really enjoyed working with this kit and I appreciate you watching and I love the comments. So thanks so much.